The Ford Maverick is the newest little truckini entering the market, and I was wondering how it stacks up against Ford's midsize offering, the Ranger. Now, if you're on the fence when it comes to size and capability, let me break it down for you, and we'll see which Ford product gives you the most bang for your buck. Now, I'm gonna be talking a whole lot of math here. Cost per pound of towing, payload percentages, total nerd fest. For this comparo, I'm going to use the top lariat trim for both, and since the Maverick is only available with four doors, we'll use the Super Crew Ranger to keep things even. As for drivetrain, well, in my humble opinion, it's not a truck unless you can put power down to all four wheels, so we'll go with the all-wheel drive Maverick and the four-wheel drive Ranger. And I'll go ahead and add the max tow package to each rig as well. That brings the Maverick to a price of $31,035, including $1,495 for destination. The Ranger sits at $40,725, including $1,195 for destination. Which brings me to my first quibble. I mean, why is the destination fee higher for the smaller Maverick? It's built in Mexico, not Mars. Just how much bigger is the Ranger compared to the Maverick? Well, the Ranger's wheelbase is 5.7 inches longer, or about 4.7% longer. Overall, the Ranger is 11.1 inches longer, the equivalent of 5.6% longer. Naturally, the Ranger is wider as well, but just by 0.7 inches, or a mere 1%. Interestingly, the Maverick actually has more interior space, but just by a smidge. In the front, the Maverick has 0.5 inches more headroom, or about 1.3%. For legroom, the Ranger takes it, but only by 0.3 inches or a paltry 0.7% more. In the rear, the Maverick has 1.3 more inches of headroom or 3.4% more, and it kicks some butt with legroom with 2.4 more inches for those gangly things or 7% more. Now looking at the bed, the Ranger's bed is about 7 inches longer or about 13% bigger. You can cram 43.3 cubes in the bed of that Ranger, compared to just 33.3 cubes for the Maverick, making the Ranger's bed capacity 30% bigger. So let's bring price into it. You're paying $931.98 per cubic foot of bed space in the Maverick, and $940.53 per cubic foot of bed space in the Ranger. Huh. I mean, I'm not sure what I really expected, but I certainly didn't think that those prices would be that close. The Maverick comes standard with a 2.5 liter hybrid engine, but that is only in front wheel drive. Remember, we want the power to go to all four wheels, which means we need to look at the two liter EcoBoost four cylinder engine with 250 horsepower and 277 pound feet of torque. And that's pushing around 3,731 pounds of trucklet. The Ranger gets a 2.3 liter EcoBoost four cylinder engine with 270 ponies and 310 pound feet of torque, motivating 4,441 pounds. So, getting all math on you, one horsepower in the Maverick has to move 14.9 pounds at a cost of $124.14 per pony. For the larger Ranger, one horsepower has to move 16.4 pounds at a cost of $150.83 per horsepower. When it comes to torque, looking at the Maverick, each pound foot of torque has to move 13.5 pounds at a cost of $112.04 per. In the Ranger, one pound foot has to move 14.32 pounds of truck, and you'll pay $131.37 for each of those 310 pound feet of twist. So just looking at the power to weight ratio and the cost per horsepower and pound feet of torque, the Maverick is actually a better buy. Okay, let's dig into towing payload and off-road capability. You know, the good truck stuff. The Ranger with this cab and driveline can haul 1,560 pounds. That's only 60 more than the Maverick. Yep, only 4% more and you'll pay $26.11 per pound of payload in the Ranger. The Maverick with its 1,500 pounds of payload has you paying only $20.69 per pound of payload. But when you look at the $9,690 price difference between the Ranger and the Maverick, you're paying $161.50 for each additional pound of payload in the Ranger, and that seems like a really steep price. The Ranger, however, can tow a lot more than the Maverick, 7,500 pounds compared to just 4,000 pounds. That's 87.5% more towing capacity at a cost per towing pound of $5.43. 
Meanwhile, the cost of towing in the Maverick is $7.76 per pound. Again, if you look at the price difference, that works out to $2.77 you'll pay in the Ranger for each additional pound of towing over the Maverick. So I think it's pretty clear here. If you're just hauling things, the Maverick's gonna be the better buy, but the Ranger provides much better value when it comes to towing. As for the off-road stuff, well, the Ranger can be had with a Tremor package that's pretty dope, but we're not including that here. Still, the standard Ranger is gonna get you further from civilization with 7.1 more degrees of approach angle, breakover angle is better by 3.4 degrees, and departure angle is 4.2 degrees better in the Ranger over the Maverick. The two, however, are closer in ground clearance with the Ranger sitting just 0.3 inches higher. With a price difference of $9,690, the Ranger's off-road capabilities are pretty pricey, especially when you consider that you'll likely be able to find a DIY lift for the Maverick and a set of 30-inch tires pretty cheaply. However, I have not factored in the Ranger's two-speed transfer case, which pretty much brings the value up to par. So in my life, towing is more important than hauling. So just given the choice, I'd likely pick the Ranger over the Maverick. However, if you just need a vehicle to haul your junk, pound for pound, the Maverick is definitely the better buy. If you care more about power, you'll get more for your money with a Maverick, but if you know you'll be leaving the pavement, the Ranger with its increased geometry and two-speed transfer case is gonna be better. At the end of the day though, all that really matters is what you need in a truck and what it's worth to you. All right, kids, you ready to pull the trigger on the little Maverick trucklet or is it a true body on frame Ranger or nothing? Let me know in the comments and tell me if there's any other models you want me to get all number crunchy with. I love getting my nerd fest on.